Hey everybody, my name's Eric and I'm the training director here at Just Add Power. Now, normally we'd be bringing you to our office to learn about all the cool things that we do, but with everything else going on, we thought we'd try to bring some training to you. Today we're gonna learn about the Warp Engine Transmitter and how to set it up. Come on! Earlier this year, we released the Warp Engine Transmitter, which allows you to rotate any video in the system at any angle from zero to 360 degrees. You start with a normal video signal, then you rotate that video signal, rotate the display to go with it, and then zoom out or zoom in to fit the content that you want. It works great for digital signage, artistic video walls, or an eye-catching display at the entrance to a building. Let's see how to build it. Normal 16 by nine content can work fine, but most of the time you're going to be designing custom content. To do that, we need to plan out the angle and positioning of the display. It might be helpful to make a matching template and design the content to fit inside. Once the plan is set, we'll mount the display at the correct angle, then configure the warp engine transmitter to go along with what we've designed. You'll be mounting the warp engine in the rack right next to the network switch and connecting it twice, once for the transmitter and once for the receiver. Connect all your other devices to the switch and configure the system like normal. To configure the warp engine, go to the IP address of the transmitter in a web browser. The warp tab lets us see the output, spin the picture, scale the picture, and make fine-tuned adjustments. First, we'll set the counterclockwise rotation angle to match the clockwise rotation of the display. For example, if we rotate the display 75 degrees clockwise, we would rotate the video 75 degrees counterclockwise to compensate for it. For scaling, ideally we would use either fit to show 100% of the content, or fill to have the video take up 100% of the screen. The exact scaling value can be fine-tuned to exactly what you need for your content. Settings will persist until you change them, so set it up once and forget about it. If you decide you want to switch the rotated video source, just switch the receiver inside the Warp Engine transmitter. The video will switch over instantly and maintain the same scaling and rotation values. You can also expand with multiple displays to build a Warp Mosaic video wall. This entire wall is built with a single warp engine transmitter. It's done the same way as a single display. You mount the TVs, rotate the content, and zoom the content to fit the size of the wall. You can also switch sources on it, just like with a single display. So now you know how to set up a warp engine transmitter. We're hoping that this video will inspire you to look at AV from a slightly different angle. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact support. We're always happy to help, and we'll see you next time.